When Blair came to power, it was a real breath of fresh air for the Clinton administration. We had been dealing with the uh, major government. It wasn't easy. We had big disagreements, primarily about Bosnia. Uh, and also, obviously, it was a different culture, a different political culture we were dealing with. So when Blair came in and immediately showed on foreign affairs that he was in sync with the United States rather than at odds with the United States the way the previous government was, on Bosnia, that made a huge difference. I do remember being called by the White House and saying, you know, Alistair Campbell, Blair's guy is here, will you come to a lunch? And um, I came to the lunch and I think we all started talking the same language of the day. In, in other words, how we were going to handle some problems, how we recognized that the media was uh, sometimes our friend but sometimes our enemy and how we had to work around that. I think he and I became uh, really professional friends through Kosovo because we both had bosses who were pretty determined to win this uh, war. We were both pretty aggressive in, in our uh, dealings with the media. And I think when Alistair uh, showed up with his grids and his ideas for how to uh, minimize the bad news and maximize the, the news we were trying to encourage, I think it was a real breath of fresh air for those of us who were fighting this battle. You've got to remember that very few people supported us at the time. Everyone forgets that, that Kosovo, there were no classic national security interests. There were no uh, mines that were going to yield uh, commercial interests. There was no oil. Uh, there were no corporate interests. We did this because, and this is a phrase Tony Blair has been associated with, because it was the right thing to do. When I was thinking about how I would like to see my leaders present the issue of how the West should respond to 9-11. Tony Blair really was at the cutting edge of that. His explanations of, of what we were doing, why we were doing it, uh, were far more powerful than the American president at the time, and far more powerful, in my view, and more effective, in my view, than any other political leader alive. I have a feeling that if Tony Blair and Bill Clinton had been able to be in power after 9-11, I just have a strong feeling uh, that the antipathy towards the United States and Britain that has become so stark around the world in moderate Muslim countries and democracies uh, would not be nearly as bad as it is today.